All right, so sitting here in the car outside of the supermarket, actually, I'm about to go to the gym in a little bit, but I figured today I'm gonna set a PR, or at least I'm gonna try for that. And typically what I do when I try to set PRs or when I'm going in knowing I'm going to attempt one is I make sure that my pre-workout game is on point. So you guys have seen this many times, but what we have here are some donuts. So there's three donuts in there. They're just frosted with jimmies. As I like to say, I don't really like the jimmies take that for what you will but as part of that that's all they really had so i typically just get like frosted so there's two chocolate frosted and one vanilla frosted but again the jimmies are there nothing you can really do i also have of course a monster i've been going with the orange ones as of late now i will say that when i get these it's typically again when i'm going for like a really heavy lift or when i'm going for like prs in a certain workout i don't drink a lot of monsters as is maybe like one every other week or so but when I do that, I also like to mix it with my tier one pre-workout, which is in here, and also their athlete vitamin. So I mix this with this. Now I haven't really had this by itself before for a long time. I finally did, it's okay, but what makes this really good is when you mix it with the tier one, which is like a lemony flavor, and their athlete vitamin, which I would say is more of like an apple flavor. It ends up being really good. And whenever I do this, I get a lot of people saying, you know, isn't that way too much caffeine? And just so you know, a monster like this for the 16 ounce can has roughly about 140 milligrams of caffeine and tier one has 200 milligrams. So 340, which is kind of a lot depending on how you look at it. For me, for someone who doesn't drink caffeine other than what's in their pre-workouts, which I usually have just one scoop per workout. So four times a week, you're looking at 200 milligrams of caffeine, 800 milligrams throughout the course of the week. So 340 for me is a little bit higher, but again, I don't do this that often. Not to mention when you take a look at some of the other pre-workouts there that have in some cases more than 200 milligrams per scoop and people take multiple scoops, it's really not too bad when you think about it in that fashion. So I'm gonna eat these donuts, drink this monster and pre-workout, head to the gym. I probably gotta get gas first, uh, but then we'll see how this PR attempt goes. So should be interesting. Protect your manhood. <laughs> All right, so back from the gym. Today didn't go how I wanted it to. Maybe I needed four donuts instead of three. I went for 365 for one touch and go, which would have been a five pound PR. And the spotter jumped in and took it pretty quickly, so it's really tough to tell, but I'm fairly confident in saying that wouldn't have gone up. And that's just saying how I feel in most cases. 
Although for bent, it's one of the things that I've really been able to grind out a lot of times. You guys have seen that on other PRs. That right about halfway point is where I usually get stuck and things actually sometimes go a little bad before they get a lot better. But I've always been able to power through on a lot of those PR attempts. So who's not to say that it might not have happened this time, but because the spider jumped in, and again, it's my fault for saying, you know, for not saying, I should say, don't touch the bar no matter what. Just really try to let me grind it out if it happens. Uh, I can only blame myself. Now he said he didn't touch the bar, but Let's be honest, he touched the bar, so that's all right. And I know you watch this channel sometimes, my dude, so that is okay, I don't blame you. It is my fault for doing that. And rather than just go ahead and try 365 again, which I probably could have done, at least attempted, I probably couldn't have lifted it at that point. I still wanted to get a PR, but still in my mindset. So what I did is I went for 345 for two, which I think would have been either a five or 10 pound touch and go PR. So I think the heaviest double I've done is like 335 or 340. So still a PR in that aspect, and I was pretty drained and it looked really ugly, but I still got it up, so I still got that PR, so technically it was a win, so I am rewarding myself by coming back and having food, not that I didn't reward myself already with those donuts and whatnot. So what we got here, uh, it's a nice little bowl, and I have 16 ounces of lean ground chicken. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in as I spill all over the place. That's why you don't do things with one hand, but that's all right. Luckily enough, I'm fairly clean, so I have no problem just picking that up and throwing it in the bowl. Kobe bitch. Uh, and then what I also got over here is just some of this uh, VD Dine-In. This is the Basmati rice. This is two servings. This is already cooked. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in as well. Not aesthetic whatsoever. And then I'm gonna put in a serving or so of this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and one of these 100 calorie holy, holy guacamole minis and just mix this all up. So this is not a very aesthetic looking meal. However, I don't care. It's still really, really good. This is literally about a thousand calories, a ton of protein, good amount of fat because of all that ground chicken, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna have that and we'll check with you guys later. Let me know if you like these shorter, more to the point videos rather than all the fluff. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.